doing a reading vlog this weekend, so I thought this would be a good time to introduce it. So um, the end of May was really crazy. We just had a lot of stuff going on. My grandma's sick, so we were in Canada for two weekends, which was pretty rough. And during that time, like I didn't even read. I went like, like I didn't pick up my book for like a week. Um, so yeah, that was crazy. And then I started work this past Monday, so. I started my residency, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just kind of fill you in on everything. So I'm gonna be doing a reading weekend. So like I said, today's Friday and it's just 7.18 right now. So I've been up for a while. <laughs> um, I have to, like the main location that I will be doing my residency at, I have to go to the headquarters for the first little bit, which is about like 45 minutes away. And it's like the same, like it's actually right down the road from where I did my undergrad at, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm used to this drive, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, like I said, I work eight to five today and then I have to pick my brother up on the way home. But um, yeah, um, I, when I go, when I can be going home, I'm gonna actually pick up the Sugarland CD come, came out, or it comes out today, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna pick that up, which is exciting. I love Sugarland. I think that they said this is their first album they had in eight years, so. Um, I'm really excited for this one and there's a bunch of, they were already released like a couple of the songs and I really like them so far so um, I'm really excited about that and probably stop um, at Walmart on my way home to pick that up but I also have to pick my brother up from work too. We work like down the road from each other um, so we have to play a little bit of musical cars today because um, my brother has physio for his finger. Um, long story but yeah that's kind of the plan today and then this weekend just reading I'm meeting a friend for like a little dinner um, on Saturday and I have to get the license plates for my new car um, so as you can see here this is like a different car than what I've shown in past like vlogs um, I had the Ford Edge it was a 2007 for a long time and it was like finally breaking down to the point where it was like the heat stopped working and when it, when it was like minus 30 out I did not appreciate it so I was like okay I'm starting a residency I need a car that's more reliable it didn't start sometimes during the winter and so I was like okay I need actually a car that I can rely on so um, actually I just got this last week and it is a 2016 Ford Escape um, and I really like it it was a used car so it only had like 44,000 miles on it so it was a like a better price than what I would get for a brand new one and I really like it it's just a size smaller than the edge and it's better on gas and it is like the titanium so it has like all like the specs and like the nice leather I really love the backup camera because I'm very even now like I'm still I hate backing up so I'm like this is exciting but yeah so I'm almost at work now um, but currently right now I'll kind of do like an overview of the books that I plan on reading. I think I just want to finish this one. Like I said, I've been on it for like three weeks and I haven't like, there is that one, like I said, that one spout where I didn't even pick up a book for like a week. Um, but yeah, I've been reading that. So my goal is to finish it this weekend. If I could finish it today, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, I just have that. Um, my sister's friend's coming over for dinner tonight so I think Friday will be a little busy and do the Cavs play tonight I have no idea I've just been like flying by the seams of my pants with this whole work thing um, but yeah it's I love it so far they mostly have me in the lab so I haven't been seeing any patients so that's okay but I don't know I don't really like the lab stuff but it makes you really appreciate the work that they do to like make these things so that's what I've just been doing for this week and probably for the next couple weeks I probably won't be seeing patients until like a little bit down the road but that's what I came here to do so yeah um like I said finishing that one book I would be very very happy anyway before I head into work I thought I'd show you kind of quick view of my car like I said it was used I had like 44,000 miles on it but it you can see like it's really nice and it's like the premium package so it's like basically like the luxury car version um, but I'm very proud of it because it is like I paid for it by myself and it's a good accomplishment for me so you can see it's quite fancy I still haven't gotten used to this 
kind of screen here but it's really nice I can hook up my phone and I get Google Maps and my iPod is connected to it which is really nice and I can actually see on the screen I don't have to like skip a song through um, my iPod anymore but you can see it's very nice my lap coats in the back the only thing it doesn't have is a, a sunroof which I never use in the other car anyways but yeah I'm very proud of this accomplishment and it's very nice and it's my baby I loved my other car but this one is very nice and I'm paying for it for myself so it has that kind of pride with it as well you don't know my name yet, name, yet, name, yet But by the time you looked away Already knew I couldn't fake it fancy little summer's bees um which are like a canadian cider which you can only get in canada so whenever i'm there i always will bring some back so i have enough just to get me through um like i got one i get one every weekend essentially is what i'm doing so i have enough until we go back um until august for the taylor swift concert which i'm really excited about uh, but yeah i had a nice little lunch with my friends and all that fun stuff we talked for a bit which was fun and it was, it was i was looking forward to it all week so it was fun so yeah i'm just heading home and i will catch up with you guys in a little bit oh and before i forget i've been really enjoying the new sugarland uh cd i've been like all link or I'll kind of write the songs that I've been really enjoying uh, but yeah I really was a big Sugarland fan and I'm excited because I get to see them next month in July so that's exciting um, I've never seen them in concert my parents have but I think it'll be really fun and I really love it so if you um, it's like a modern country and I really love their songs and they have very good harmonies and they have a unique sound 
so that's really exciting. So I got that yesterday and I've been listening to it. And I drove to get my license plate and I drove for lunch, so I'm really liking it so far. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. If you come closer, I can whisper in your ears. And if you wanna walk away, I'll tell you all the things I know you'd wanna hear. So it is quarter to eight now and I actually ended up finishing the kitchen house and I loved the ending like I just marathoned the last like a hundred pages or so and it was so good I was like I said I kind of it took me a while like I didn't read the book for a while so it took me a while to get into it but like the last hundred pages or so were incredible like because I said like I was kind of feeling very like detached from this book but like holy smokes this last bit was just amazing. I think I would give it four out of five stars. Like I said, it did have a little slumpy parts and some parts were really kind of like dusted over very quickly. Um, but it was just so good. So, so, so good. Um, the ending, like, oh my gosh, like I had tears in my eyes, but yeah, this is really good. So I'm happy I did not give up on this book because it really, really impacted me just with the ending and my heart is a little bit broken right now. Um, but yeah, no one's home yet. There's, my, um, they're at like a graduation party, so everyone is. So yeah, I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV for a little bit. I don't know what everyone's doing, but oh my god, like I need something a little bit happy because this is like, oh god. Like, I'm, I'm actually pretty upset about that. Like, that book was really hard to read. But I think I'll pick up, I'll kind of look through my bookshelf here to pick up my next one to read at bedtime. So, but oh my gosh, this book, man, holy smokes. My heart is just broken and ripped into a million pieces. But that, now I know why everyone was really raving this book. Because I was like, I don't feel it, but holy smokes. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm going to pick pick a book and then watch a little bit of TV cuz I don't know what everyone's doing. So, I'm just chilling. Oh, and I need to have a Summer's Bee cuz I didn't have that cuz I was on a reading machine. I'm apologize for this pimple here, but Oh my gosh, you guys, that book was amazing. All right, so here are the books that I have for like my June TBR. Um, so I was thinking of this one actually just because it's been on my shelf for a while and it's about, I forget the name of this person, but Anne Morrow who was like married to this um, very famous aviator uh, from the 20s and so it's loosely based, I don't know how closely this book follows but it's kind of based on this woman's life which I will be think will be interesting and kind of following so it says, and becomes the first licensed female glider pilot in the U.S. But despite this and other major achievements, she is viewed merely as the aviator's wife. A fairy tale life she once longed for will bring heartbreak and hardships, ultimately uh, pushing her to reconcile her need for love and her desire for independence and to embrace at last life's infinite possibilities for change and happiness. So, yeah, I think this won't be interesting, but oh my gosh, I can't get over this. I struggled through it for parts of it, but it was just so beautiful. Oh my gosh.
Hey guys, so I am at work now. It's on Monday, but I didn't close out the vlog, so I thought I would do that now. Um, just because I have some free time, I'm like half an hour early. So, um, yeah, so this weekend I was happy I finished the kitchen house, which ended up being quite a bit of a surprise for me. It was a diamond in the rough because I was really kind of struggling through it, but it wasn't until like the last hundred pages or so that I really got invested in it. So I really loved that. And then I also picked up The Aviator's Wife by Melanie Benjamin, which is about, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Charles Lindenberg, who is the first person to fly across the Atlantic and then his wife. And I was looking them up on, um, just like on Google and their life was really, really weird and like, a lot of weird stuff was going on so I think this book will be interesting I'm already I'm 20 pages in I didn't do a lot of reading yesterday um, I was like I said in my last reading vlog we're doing like um, some renovations for um, our basement so I was working on that I have my little craft corner which is awesome so I was doing that and I just kind of watched TV I just took it easy on a Sunday so yeah this reading vlog is a little bit different I didn't do a lot of reading but I was happy I finished the kitchen house which was my goal so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you guys next time bye guys